Well, Jane, Mark, just by looking at where I'm standing right now, you can see how close these two facilities would be. On my left would, is Project ID, and on my right is that grocery outlet where that proposed homeless shelter would be. Project ID is a very popular place. About 100 people per night are in this facility, and they tell me that if this homeless shelter moves in, their members, quite frankly, won't feel safe. There's a lot of smiles inside this building. This is Project ID, a nonprofit that provides opportunities for people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. It's one of the only programs in the state that offers year-round support for people after they age out of high school-based programs. But plans to move a homeless shelter in next door is raising concerns. It's almost like taking a homeless shelter and putting it next to a junior high. Executive Director Bob Hutchinson says the city plans to buy all three buildings on the lot, including theirs. They aren't being forced to move, but may consider it if safety measures are not in place. Our people are very vulnerable. They are very um, giving. So if you come up and you say, I need five bucks, if they have it, they will give it to you. Hutchinson says his members, who range in age from teenagers to elderly, are worried about their safety, many of whom say they've had negative encounters with the homeless population. It'll be a place that people can call home for a while and get stable and get services. Uh, and then move on to better housing after that. We reached out to the city. They say maintaining safety, regardless of who the neighbors are, will be a top priority. The goal is to help people as they find permanent housing. Hutchinson says he's not concerned with the people at the shelter. It's the ones who loiter on the property. Are they going to stay around the area? What, what uh, mechanisms are going to be in place to make sure that this area stays safe, and not only for us, but for the neighborhood and other areas. While he's not 100 percent on board with the idea, he does say the city is being proactive in addressing their concerns. He also sees an opportunity to collaborate because many people in the homeless community may also experience a disability. We would like to form that partnership where we could help serve them beyond that to help them create a, a positive community that can keep them in permanent housing. So the city is co-hosting a meeting with Project ID. It will be held here at Project ID to talk about some uh, different concerns they have and talk about some possible solutions. That meeting is scheduled for July 30th here at Project ID. Reporting live in Spokane, I'm Tim Pham, Creme 2 News.